Meanwhile, India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi and also South African President Cyril Ramaphosa is presently on a two-day visit to India to be a chief guest at the Republic Day celebrations today. They are addressing a press meet. Let's listen in to what's being said there. South Africa and India, 2019-2021. This will be exchanged on the South African side by Her Excellency Ms. Lindive Sisilu, Minister of International Relations and Cooperation. And on the Indian side, by Srimati Sushma Swaraj, Minister of External Affairs. Excellencies, this concludes the agreement exchange ceremony. I now request the spokesperson of the External Affairs Ministry to conduct the proceedings. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you all to this press event. To begin the proceedings, may I request the Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi ji, to deliver his statement to the media. Your Excellency, President Ramaphosa, Dakshin Africa se haan aye sabhi vishisht atithigan. Friends, humare liye bahut harsh ka vishay hai ki Bharat ke abhinna mitra Rashtrapati Ramaphosa aaj humare beech mein maujood hai. उनके लिए भारत नया नहीं है लेकिन राष्ट्रपति के रूप में यह उनकी पहली भारत यात्रा है और उनकी यह भारत यात्रा हमारे संबंधों के एक विशेष मुकाम पर हो रही है इस वर्ष महात्मा गांधी जी की 150वीं वर्षगांठ है और पिछला वर्ष नेल्सन मंडेला जी की जन्म शताब्दी का वर्ष था और पिछले साल हमारे राजनयिक संबंधों की रजत जयंती भी थी मुझे बहुत प्रसन्नता है कि इस विषय विशेष मुकाम पर राष्ट्रपति रामाफोसा भारत आए हैं और उनकी यह भारत यात्रा हमारे लिए और भी विशेष महत्व रखती है क्योंकि कल वे भारत के गणतंत्र दिवस समारोह में मुख्य अतिथि के रूप में शामिल होंगे यह सम्मान और गौरव वे हमें दे रहे हैं इसके लिए समस्त भारत उनका आभारी है फ्रेंड्स 2016 में जब मैं दक्षिण अफ्रीका गया था उस समय मेरी राष्ट्रपति रामाफोसा के साथ पहली मुलाकात हुई थी उस समय वे उपराष्ट्रपति थे और हमारी उस पहली मुलाकात में ही मैंने भारत के प्रति उनके उत्साह और स्नेह का अनुभव किया था पिछले वर्ष दक्षिण अफ्रीका में ब्रिक्स समिट के समय मैंने उनके शानदार आतिथ्य सत्कार का अनुभव किया हालांकि दिल्ली में सर्दी का मौसम है लेकिन मुझे विश्वास है कि इस यात्रा में राष्ट्रपति रामाफोसा भी भारत के गर्मजोशी भरे स्वागत को अवश्य महसूस करेंगे मैं राष्ट्रपति जी का और उनके डेलीगेशन का भारत में हार्दिक स्वागत करता हूं फ्रेंड्स आज राष्ट्रपति जी के साथ बातचीत में हमने अपने संबंधों के सभी आयामों की समीक्षा की हमारे बीच व्यापार एवं निवेश के संबंध और अधिक प्रगाढ़ हो रहे हैं हमारा द्विपक्षीय व्यापार 10 बिलियन डॉलर से भी अधिक है इस वर्ष वाइब्रेंट गुजरात में दक्षिण अफ्रीका पार्टनर कंट्री के रूप में हिस्सा लिया और दक्षिण अफ्रीका में निवेश बढ़ाने के राष्ट्रपति रामाफोसा के प्रयासों में भारतीय कंपनियां बढ़ चढ़ करके हिस्सा ले रही हैं 
दक्षिण अफ्रीका के कौशल विकास प्रयासों में भी हम साझेदार हैं प्रिटोरिया में शीघ्र ही गांधी मंडेला स्किल इंस्टीट्यूट की स्थापना होने वाली है और हम दोनों इन संबंधों को एक नए स्तर पर ले जाने के लिए प्रतिबद्ध हैं और इसलिए आज कुछ ही देर में हम दोनों देशों के प्रमुख बिजनेस लीडर्स के साथ मुलाकात करेंगे फ्रेंड्स विश्व का मानचित्र देखें तो यह स्पष्ट है कि भारत और दक्षिण अफ्रीका दोनों ही इंडियन ओशन में बहुत महत्वपूर्ण स्थानों पर स्थित हैं हम दोनों विविधताओं से परिपूर्ण लोकतांत्रिक देश हैं महात्मा गांधी और नेल्सन मंडेला की विरासत के उत्तराधिकारी हैं और इसलिए हम दोनों का व्यापक वैश्विक नजरिया एक दूसरे से काफी मेल रखता है ब्रिक्स जी ट्वेंटी इंडियन ओशन रीन एसोसिएशन इप्सा जैसे अनेक मंचों पर हमारा आपसी सहयोग और समन्वय बहुत ही मजबूत है संयुक्त राष्ट्र सुरक्षा परिषद के सुधारों पर भी हम साथ मिलकर काम कर रहे हैं राष्ट्रपति जी की इस भारत यात्रा के कार्यक्रम का एक विशेष अंग आज आयोजित किया जा रहा पहला गांधी मंडेला फोरम लेक्चर होगा सिर्फ मैं ही नहीं पूरा भारत और पूरा दक्षिण अफ्रीका राष्ट्रपति जी के विचार सुनने के लिए उत्सुक है फ्रेंड्स कल गणतंत्र दिवस पर राष्ट्रपति रामाफोसा की उपस्थिति और मुख्य अतिथि के रूप में भागीदारी हमारे संबंधों को और अधिक मजबूत करने की हमारी साझी प्रतिबद्धता का प्रतीक है मैं एक बार फिर राष्ट्रपति जी का हार्दिक स्वागत करता हूं धन्यवाद थैंक यू सर मैं आई नो इनवाइट द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ द रिपब्लिक ऑफ साउथ अफ्रीका हिज एक्सलेंसी मिस्टर सिरिल रामाफोसा टू डिलीवर हिज स्टेटमेंट Thank you thank you very much uh, Prime Minister Modi ministers and deputy ministers ambassadors honored guests and ladies and gentlemen and members of the press Prime Minister Modi thank you very much for welcoming us to mild wintered Delhi we have just come back from Davos where the temperature was uh, minus 16 so it is a real joy and a pleasure to be in the warm climate of uh, delhi at this time of the day and we also look forward moving from the warmth of your reception we look forward to having some hot indian food later on uh, this uh, afternoon prime minister modi and i and along with our respective delegations have just concluded fruitful talks talks that have been aimed at deepening the relationship between south africa and india to south africa india is a strategic partner and i'm most honored to have been invited to pay a visit a state visit to india at this point in time i'm also extremely honored by the invitation to attend tomorrow's republic day celebrations as chief guest of honor i am accompanied during this visit by a high powered delegation of cabinet ministers and senior officials in our government this in itself is a reflection of the importance which south africa ascribes and places on its relationship with india a strong contingent representing the south african business community has also accompanied us on this visit and the prime minister and i will later on address a round table of business people during our deliberations the prime minister and i were in agreement that considerable scope exists for our two countries to grow and extend and deepen our bilateral relations 
at a number of levels, but more particularly at the economic level. While trade has increased significantly between our two countries over the last two years, and India is now South Africa's second largest trading partner, we want to extend this relationship to higher levels. There are a number of areas of future cooperation between our two countries, and some of the areas where we want to extend cooperation is in the agro-processing area or sector. It is also in defense procurement, mining equipment, and technology and cooperation, also in the financial services sector. During our talks, we also reviewed the existing cordial bilateral relations between South Africa and India as encapsulated in the strategic partnership which exists between our two countries, as well as the close cooperation within a number of multilateral groupings that our two countries belong to and where we work very closely with one another in BRICS, in IPSA, IORA, and the G20. We were also able during these talks to extend our gratitude for the support that India gave to South Africa to be elected, to be a member of the Security Council as a non-permanent member. We also remembered that South Africa and India had worked extremely well together in our first tenure as members of the Security Council when India was also a member of the Security Council as a non-permanent member. And we assured India that our tenure on the Security Council will be to extend peace and security in the world and to strengthen the multilateral system and to ensure that developing economies are given the opportunities that they deserve to grow their economies and that our tenure there will also be to ensure that ordinary people of the world do benefit from globalization. In order to ensure concrete deliverables, the Prime Minister and I, deliverables from these talks, we concluded this morning a three-year strategic program of cooperation aimed at deepening the bilateral engagement between India and South Africa and ensuring that a result-oriented partnership benefits the peoples of both countries. We have instructed our ministers and officials to commence immediate implementation of this program that we have concluded in order to take our bilateral level to a higher level. It is our joy and pleasure to be here and we also remembered very fondly the visit of our founding democracy Nelson Mandela when he came here and the lecture we're going to be delivering later today is in great memory of the two icons of our two nations, Mandela and Gandhi. And it is in honor of these two icons that we have also come to pay a visit to India. And Prime Minister, we would like to thank you for having extended this visit to us, and thank you very much. Thank you, Excellency. This concludes the press event. Thank you all for joining. All right, so that was Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the South African President Cyril Ramaphosa there addressing the press meet, also highlighting the importance of the bilateral relationship between the two nations. And also remember, Cyril Ramaphosa will be the chief guest at the Republic Day Parade tomorrow. And this, this of course, is a very significant way in, in, in terms of taking the relationship of the two nations forward. There are many historical linkages between India and South Africa and Cyril Ramaphosa will of course be the second 
leader from South Africa who will be the chief guest at the event tomorrow. So a very important visit by the South African president there. He, in fact, was at Davos and at that time he had spoken with Vion and he had said that he feels that India is like his second home. And this, of course, will go a long way in strengthening the bilateral relationship between the two countries, India and South Africa, which, remember, have, have had a lot of cooperation over the course of the last several decades. Now, both these nations have, in fact, emerged from the horrors of colonialism and have charted their path towards democracy. And this is what Prime Minister Narendra Modi had also emphasized, that with common goals in the past, India and South Africa will, of course, be strengthening their cooperation for the future. All right, now for more on this, we are joined in by my colleague Siddhant Sibyl, who was at this press meet and has been tracking all the developments very closely for us. Good afternoon to you, Siddhant. Now, this, this in many ways goes to highlight the, the closed relationship that India and South Africa, in fact, share, where Cyril Ramaphosa will, of course, be presiding as the chief guest at the Republic Day celebrations tomorrow. Well, yes, and the focus uh, in uh, the press statements, which were just delivered just five minutes ago from the Hyderabad House, were on the complementarities between the two countries, India and South Africa. There was this mention of Indian Ocean. Remember, India has been focusing on the Indian Ocean region and now defines its neighborhood through the ocean, not through its land boundary. And that is why that make it, makes it more important to um, uh, for increased ties between India and South Africa. Because, but this visit is all about celebration of two important leaders of India and South Africa, Mahatma Gandhi, the father of the nation, and uh, Nelson Mandela, who, of course, was the chief guest in 1995 at India's Republic Day uh, Parade. In just one hour from now, uh, the South African president will be delivering the first IPSA, uh, Mahatma Gandhi and uh, Nelson Mandela lecture which will be delivered in Delhi in just one hour from now in which he will be focusing on how the both how both the leaders have in a sense helped shape the, both countries the future of both the countries and as Prime Minister Narendra Modi said from uh, Hyderabad House from that podium that we are the inheritors of the legacy of these two people and in the morning itself also at Rashtrapati Bhavan, when the ceremony uh, uh, welcome was according to the president of South Africa, the South African president mentioned that this visit is all about celebration of these two people, uh, about Mahatma Gandhi and Nelson Mandela. This visit, of course, coming at a time when India is celebrating the 150th birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi. But focus also on strategic partnership. India is the strategic partnership of South Africa, and one MOU was exchanged that was on three-year strategic uh, agreement between. Between India and South Africa. That was the key deliverable from the press statements which are made from Hyderabad House. But other than that, it's also about uh, Indian Ocean. As I just mentioned, the IORA, which is the Indian Ocean uh, Rim Association. South Africa is the chair of IORA. And of course, there will be several meetings uh, uh, which will be held uh, as, the, as the year progresses because India, of course, uh, uh, consider itself as a dominating, a uh, dominant partner here in the region and, of course, is keen to have partnership with African countries who, of course, uh, uh, borders the Indian Ocean. And, of course, South Africa is a crucial partner in that.